Howdy, Big Angle of the Cheer, podcaster, author, and carnivore, and it is Monday, May 27th, 2024. Happy Memorial Day to you. Can you say Happy Memorial Day? It's one of those holidays you're not supposed to be happy, you're supposed to be remembering those who have passed. But then again, we have barbecues and kick off summer with Memorial Day, so maybe it's okay. I don't know. Anyways, this is my video for week 52. That's right, 52. We've made it basically to the year mark of my process. So it was week 52 of my journey to Wonderland using beef, butter, bacon, and eggs carnivore. And I have been using alternate day fasting, but I have called a halt to that. So there's no alternate day fasting uh, this time around. Just beef, butter, bacon, and eggs carnivore. So let's get into those daily videos and see how things are going here on Big Anklevich on Health. Okay, it is Monday, and I'm trying to get things a little more pulled together than they have been for the last little while. The cheating, eating, uh, well, it's not really cheating, but I've been eating processed stuff, stuff coming out of a bag which is not what I wanted to do, eating those pork cracklins. And I don't know why I did that, I just had weird cravings. So today I made sure not to do that. Did not go back to HEB and buy more. So that's good. Um, what did I do? Well, I got up and I had pork belly instead of pork cracklins. And that was pretty good stuff. Uh, I always love that, it's always really tasty. And then uh, I had some fat trimmings, which I guess you could say that's my own little pork cracklins, uh, but I didn't cook them so much that they're, you know, cracklins. But I had those. And then I also had some uh, a steak. I, I took one of those steaks that I've had in the freezer and I did that Michaela Peterson thing where I cooked it from frozen in my air fryer and I just kind of trusted it. I didn't even check the temperature. I just took it out and started eating it. And when I did, it was really good. It was very rare, but very tasty. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And that was the food that I had. I also went out and I did some exercise. Um, Barely had time for it, but I did some exercise. Uh, I did deadlift and bench press today. And uh, then my garage door broke, <laughs> which is terrible. And I was very irritated and it's gonna be a mess to clean that thing up. It's gonna cost us a fortune. But yeah, it's needed to be done for a while. We've been, uh, it's been broken for a long time and we've just kind of been uh, limping along and you know nursing that garage door along as long as possible and i think we're still going to do a little bit more of that but uh in the end we will fix that garage door um but yeah uh we uh that was my monday um and uh, we'll talk more tomorrow Okay, it is Tuesday, and uh, this morning was a little busy because I had somebody come in to help us fix our garage. So uh, they came, they took a look at it. I spent most of my morning doing that. But otherwise, I cooked some food, and I had some food. Uh, not a whole lot of it, though, really. I just, I made fat trimmings, and then I took half of my five-pound chub of ground beef, and I fried that up. And I ate half of that in the morning, and then the second half on my way to work, and that was all I'm eating for today. Um, for the first time today, after yesterday, uh, my weight came down a little bit, <laughs> which is nice. Maybe those uh, pork cracklings are wearing off. I'm going back to what I should weigh. Uh, or maybe my body's uh, getting to that point where it's like, oh, okay, we're good. I don't know. I think that's probably a little bit in the future, but... Anyways, um, yeah, that is good. Uh, you know, I was feeling super depressed yesterday and weirdly uh, feeling that a little bit 
last week, I think I mentioned that in my last week, I was, you know, feeling a malaise where I just didn't want to do anything. And I just ugh, I felt blah. And I was watching a Kelly Hogan video yesterday. She was talking to uh, Sally Norton, who said that that is one of those things that could happen when oxalates are getting to uh, a high level in your oxalate dumping. It can give you troubles with your brain, make you depressed. And, and if you're having issues like that, she said, try some tea. Give yourself something that has little oxalates in it so that it tells your body, hey, slow up on the oxalates dumping because you're overdoing it. And it's just a, a little trick that they use to uh, manage that so that it doesn't get too bad because when you're dumping oxalates, it can come out so much that it can actually damage your body. So you got to be a little bit careful about it if you start having problems. A lot of people think, oh, carnivore's not for me. And that's because their body starts dumping oxalates and they feel terrible. And, uh, you know, that's probably why. But, yeah, I had some tea last night. It's the first thing that I've had that has plants in it in, I don't know, a year almost. Uh... I guess purposefully, I guess there would have been spices and stuff, but that was the first real thing. So, um, so yeah, that's what I had. Uh, I had that tea last night and I think it worked. I think it felt a little better. I'm not sure. Maybe it was just because it's tea that has caffeine in it. I don't know. But uh, I think I'm feeling a little less depressed today. So keep that in mind. Maybe if you have issues, could be oxalate dumping. Look into it and maybe... Uh, you know, take a little bit of oxalates as a kind of a medicine to keep yourself from over dumping. Okay, it is Wednesday and I screwed up this morning. I forgot that I was supposed to exercise today. I'm not used to this stuff yet, so I didn't do my sit ups and push ups and squats like I was supposed to. Totally forgot. I'm gonna have to do them tomorrow, I guess. And then wait till Saturday, I guess, for the rest of it. I don't know. Gotta, gotta get this stuff together. But uh, I did remember to eat. So <laughs> I got up this morning and I cooked up the rest of the ground beef that I have, uh, the other probably two and a half pounds of it. And I ate eh, about half of that as, as well as mm, some, maybe a pound worth of fat trimming, something like that. And that was my breakfast. Uh, I was pretty stuffed. And then, right before I left for work, I had myself one of my New York strip steaks. Cooked that up in the barbecue and had that, and it was so good. I cooked it perfectly this time, so I have to make sure to keep the time low and not let it go long. Like, I keep messing up my steaks recently, and gosh, what a waste that is. Um, but yeah, so that is how today has gone. I'll be doing my walking, making my 10,000 steps, even though I forgot my other exercise, and I'll still get that in. And uh, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Hey everybody, it is Thursday. And today I made up for yesterday. I got up and I did my exercises. I did sit-ups and I did push-ups and I did squats, and let me tell you, that was tough. I'm not as buffed as I wish I was. Uh, years ago, I was in pretty good shape. Back in high school, I would work out all the time playing football. You know, they kind of required that. And I could do so much more back then. Like, my 16-year-old self could beat my face in gonna say a different word but I'll try and keep this family friendly um, <laughs> but yeah so uh, I did do my exercises and for food today I got up I had the rest of my ground beef uh, I have now eaten five whole pounds of ground beef this week uh, plus a couple of pounds of pork belly and what else have I eaten several steaks uh, but today I ate mm, probably a pound a pound and a half of ground beef and uh, probably a pound or so of fat trimmings. And I ate two New York steaks right before I left for work. And that was my food for the day. Yesterday, uh, I don't think I ate enough. I ate an extra steak today just to make sure. Um, Cause yeah, I got really hungry before, uh, like late at night, like nine o'clock. 
which you know it's too late to be eating but you know I, I want to eat whenever I get hungry and I don't like that that I get hungry when I'm in a place where I can't eat and I can't do anything about it so that's what I've done today and uh, for the most part things have settled down my weight's kind of getting normal um, and uh, yeah, we're watching out for it, trying to get myself fed. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, it is Friday and uh, no working out today because I did it yesterday, so I'm going to do it tomorrow. Um, but this morning I did get up and I had myself some fat trimmings and a whole great big chuck roast. Uh, I wound up eating the entire thing, which I have not done before. so. Uh, that was all that I ate today. Um, uh, right before I left for work, I thought maybe I should have something else, but there was nothing ready that I could eat, and uh, I didn't have time to make something, and I really didn't have time to stop at McDonald's either, so I just had to give up and just go without. Hopefully that's okay. Uh, we shall see. It is Saturday and uh, today was, it was a good day. Um, I got up this morning. <laughs> I didn't have much left to eat in the house uh, so I just took some hamburger patties, some frozen ones that we had and worse uh, I went to barbecue them and we were out of uh, gas for the barbecue too so I just had to cook them on the frying pan. Um, so I cooked those up. I had five of those and uh, some eggs. That was my meal for the morning. Uh, I did go on a walk with my daughter. I don't know if that helped me get to my 10,000 steps or not, but uh, it's something, it's worth doing. And uh, then I went a long time before eating my second meal. I, I don't know why, I was never hungry, but somewhere around six o'clock, which is pretty late for me, I had uh, some pork belly and some more eggs. So I had a lot of eggs today, and uh, some pork belly, and some hamburgers, and it was all pretty good. Okay, it is Sunday, and uh, I started off the day the same uh, today as I did yesterday. I had myself pork belly, uh, little pork belly bites, and eggs. And oh, it was so good yesterday, and it was just as good today. It was a wonderful, wonderful meal. And uh, that's what I had for breakfast, and then later on, I had the last of my New York strip steak that I got back when they had the big sale at Kroger, where it was $4.99 a pound. But it's okay, because guess what? Today, I found a sale on bone-in ribeye for $4.99 a pound at Kroger. So I bought several more pounds of that. So now I've got bone-in ribeye in the freezer that I can use. So I had the last two steaks, um, and that was pretty much my food for the day. And uh, my weight just still keeps going up and it's freaking me out but uh, I guess I will keep dealing with it we'll see how it goes okay so there you go that's another week in the can and it's another week that was really tough it's really tough again I mean I, I did get things under control at the start of the week I was able to you know last week I ate a crap ton of pork rinds, which I think that just, you know, caused me to retain a whole bunch of water and gain a bunch of weight. But uh, once I cut that crap out and went back to eating the way I should, well, most of that water went away, but the weight is still there. It's still going up steadily, which it's, I, I mean, I, I've said this, I think last week, and I'll say it again, I'm, I was expecting it. I expected my weight to go up, but it's really hard to watch it happen. It's a lot of weight going up. It's hard to sit there and think, yeah, this is the plan. This is the way it should be. It's okay. And, uh, you know, when this is over, it'll all go back off and I'll get to Wonderland. Is that true? I haven't tested it. I haven't proven it. People say that it's true, but not everybody says that. Uh, so I don't know. Do I need to start looking for my, what is it? I E I D I D E E. What's this? There's an abbreviation that I can't think of, but it's your daily energy expenditure 
something like, I can't remember, there's an I in there, I swear. Um, but yeah, basically how much calories your body supposedly burns, you shouldn't eat more than that. Because if you do, then you're going to gain weight. And if you eat too little, then you're not, you know, then you're going to not lose weight. But if you eat just right, then supposedly you'll lose weight. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to do it the natural way where I just rely on my body to say, hey, you're not hungry now. Okay, now you're hungry, eat. But I don't know if, if I totally can sense. I have a tendency to want to eat before I'm quite hungry. Uh, mostly a lot of that has to do with just I feel like I should eat uh, not close to bedtime. So i got to eat pretty early on. I don't like to eat even as late as like 7. You know, a lot of people would eat dinner at 7, but I don't want to eat that late. I did that a couple of times this week. And... Uh, I don't know. I think that might be part of the reason why I have my weight up as high as it is. Well, let's take a look at my weight. Where are we at this week? Last week, I finished out the week with an average of 213.0 pounds. And this week, well, yep, it's up now to 214.2. And that is just the average. <laughs> it's not what I'm at right now. That is my average for the whole week, which means my average came up. 1.2 pounds, which, you know, that doesn't seem like such a big deal, but my, the weight that I'm sitting on right now, and I've been on it for two days now, it's kind of freaking me out. It's almost 220, and I am freaking out about that, I have to admit. I'm hoping that I won't go up too much higher before <laughs> I finally go down. It's tough. I have heard Kelly Hogan talk about her experience, where she was doing a lot of fasting and low-carb stuff, and then she got on to the zero carb uh, message board group <clears throat> and they taught her that you got to eat uh, the right stuff no more sugar-free stuff etc etc she went through the uh, and learned about the stuff that you should do and she trusted in it and went for it and she gained a fair amount of weight like 20 some odd pounds before she started going back down and that's a female, and I'm guessing a male, the equivalent of 20 pounds on a woman is probably 30? Maybe 30 pounds? Do I have to go all the way up to 230 before I start coming down? <sighs> I hope not. Uh, I'll freak out. I'll freak out a lot. I'm, I'm worried. You know, I've, I've, I did this whole thing once before. If you're a long-time viewer of the channel, then you remember back in 2019 when I went through this the first time and I lost all the way down to 220. And then I went back up. And I struggled for several years to get myself back on track. And this year, this year I finally did. Got back on track. And I went back down and I lost all the weight again. And now here I am going back up and I'm freaking out. I don't want to have to do it all over again. I don't think I will. I, I believe. I believe that it's not going to happen. But... It's hard. It's really hard. And I'm kind of bummed because this is the video for week 52. What is week 52? That means one year doing this. Today is Memorial Day, which is May 27th. I started this last year on May 29th. So I am two days shy of 366 days of doing this or one year. It was a leap year, so I got an extra day. So I'm one day or two days shy of, a, of my one year mark at this point. And I wanted to be there. I wanted to be under 200. I wanted to make it to Wonderland. Instead, I'm not even close. <laughs> and I'm going the other direction. And I'm worried about it, but I think that it's going to be the right way. And it's going to actually result in more health there are still a fair amount of uh, my health issues that I've had that haven't really gotten 100% better. Some of them have improved somewhat, others haven't improved very much at all. And uh, some of that might have to do with the things that I've been doing with so much fasting. It might be screwing up my hormones and making things worse. And so, you know, I want to fix that. Get that fixed so that I can be healthy 
as I always say, this show isn't Big Anklevich on weight loss, it's Big Anklevich on health. And that is what I'm after, is health. And so, yeah, we started eating, feeding myself completely in the last two weeks, and I've started working out. And I worked out three days a week this time. I can't remember if I mentioned it every time, but yeah, I did uh, deadlift and, and uh, deadlift and bench press on the first day, which was Monday, I think, this way in, this week. And then I missed Wednesday when I was supposed to do the second day. So we did it on Thursday. And on Thursday, we did I did sit-ups, push-ups, and squats. And then yesterday, I did thrusters, which I don't know if you know what those are. I should have probably done video of them. I think I, I showed video of them last in last week's video. That's where you basically do a squat. And then when you come up out of the squat, you lift the bar up off of your chest and press it over your head. So it's kind of like a squat combined with military press. So I did thrusters and curls. And I've done that this whole week. And I did that last week. So that's two weeks worth of exercises. And hopefully I'm building some muscle from that. I don't know. I do have a scale. It's a Vivitar scale that's supposed to check this kind of stuff. It'll tell you what your percentage of muscle and fat and all that kind of stuff is. I don't know how accurate it is. It was a cheap scale. It was like 25 bucks. And I'm not so sure that it's telling me the truth. <laughs> I don't know if it's particularly accurate. Uh, it seems more like it just kind of guesses to me. It, I, I've been taking note of it. And I'll probably start bringing it up in videos as uh, as weeks go on and pointing out, okay, now it says that I'm 37% fat or something. <laughs> but hopefully uh, those, wait, those measurements are accurate and it'll be worth my while. <laughs> I don't know. There's another version of this scale that's like $150. And I did not buy that version of it. So... Yeah, I will, uh, I'll have to, have to make do with what I've got and we'll see how it works. Um, but yeah, that is what's going on now. It's my one year carniversary, everybody. Huzzah! Let's celebrate. <laughs> All right, at least it was a good year. I'll have to say it's been an amazing year. I think I'll do a video about it. So in a couple of days, it'll be a midweek video. How about that? I'll do a little video where I just get on here and talk about all the things that one year of carnivore has done for me. And uh, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Big Anklevich on health.